Hi everybody, JT here. Uh, first video of GIFCAM. This video it will be focused on uh, GIFCAM basic introduction, some uh, basic setup, uh, menu and function, create tool, and maybe create a uh, tool pass, easy tool pass. As you may know or you may not know, there are many cam software out there. And GIFCAM is the one that I have been using almost 15 years now. Uh, mostly, most of the time, uh, 3-axis, but my company recently got a Akuma 5-axis machine. So I use GIFCAM to make a program for this machine and before that was HARS and a rotary table on the HARS but eh, wasn't long, few months. But today I will be doing this video for three axes and show you first when you open up GIFCAM what to set up before you make an up program so let's get to it so as you can see here this screen is give cam when you open up nothing in here yet so first thing is you set up the machine and uh, inches or metric whatever you want first let's go here the machine this is machine definition if you want just three axis machine, you can just select three axis vertical. If you use four axis or if you use five axis, you know, this is just standard. Uh, and some other stuff in here I have not used. But three axis and five axis vertical. And I have a Akuma here for my work. This is the MDD for that machine. But today we would be doing three axes, so I select three axes. Material, okay, here is you can select the material, whatever material you want to cut, you select here. It's helpful, useful when you do uh, speed and fit calculation in gear, but I don't. I usually do it manually, so it's not important to me. Here, where you select inches on metric, right? And here is the machine holder, tool holder, CAD 40, 30, 50, clearing, whatever your machine is, you select it. Clearing, this is where the, you put a, a, a clearing plan here, so when the tool go there, it feed down. Uh, wrap it down to this clearing. Reference. You have some torrent I put here. Fixture where you have a fixture, a vial or something, clam or something, you don't want to hit it. And then you put a clearing here, and when it touch, when it cut that fixture, it will alarm or it will notify you that you know you have a collision with the fixture or something like that and then fixture torrents okay and this is finished part torn I put a 10 that's plenty good this one you can put 3 to 5 it depends on how you cut the rough part, if you leave a lot of material, you can put it 510 if you don't leave a lot and then you leave it less. So if you leave 5000, you can leave, you can put here 3 or 1, but if you leave like, if you put here 10,000 but you cut the rough part, you only leave uh, like 5000, this no good. So you have to adjust it accordingly. Okay, everything else I should keep it there for. 
All right, so you can see here most of this menu are unselectable because they're not in here. All right, I have some uh, demo part here. We can view this or we can create a new one. All right, let's do is uh, open or new. Let's do new day. And then you name it first part. Nah, just override that all part because I, I will show you how to create two and do all those symbol stuff. So first you have your so you make a new part first part right and now you can see this is more accessible now because it had something in there even though we don't have anything there yet but you can see this wasn't visible but now it, it is so okay basic as you can see here up here document you already know view this way you want to see what view you want to do to, to see it right usually i just do like isometric view and then home you can see it. this cs plan is the plan that you want to work on so you in here you can create new plan or new cs or new work group body pack is when you have something you want to back it it will come in here geometry where you can create geometry dimension where you want to demand something you want to see something dimension of that hole or that length or that face whatever you want you can use it to roughly see it surface this is where you can modify surface create surface and all those stuff solid uh, this is where you use and move this one out this one you you create a model subtract add uh, combine and then you can extend uh, plan uh, with the radius something that I'll show you so make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll show you how this work in the next video all right let close all this is basic video today so I don't want to take too long just the introduction of what it does. Oh, let me make sure I get to this. So this is tool where you create tool here. This cam, this is where you have all your operation to pass coming here. I'll show you. And this one is just for rendering. Okay, let's go to it. Create a, a basic model. I see two by four, good enough, right? Then I use this, I create a model zero minus one, right? Okay, just leave it on. Let create a hole grid. Okay, there you go. Symbol. Okay, so now technically you don't have to make your hole here, create a hole here. If you know this is a hole, you can just use this point to reel it. But if you want to see it, how it look, and then you can just do it. And then and then you subtract this from this and you can see that's the hole right so that's how you make a hole or something like that you can see it doesn't look very good 
So we can make it a little bit tight so you can see it better. Now you can see it better. All right, so we have a rectangle part of the hole. I'll create a tool, drill this hole, and an end mill cut around it. Just simple, easy. So when you want to cre create a, a tool, just go here, double click it, pop up, uh, you select real, right? That's half in hole, so I'm gonna put diameter, half in, angle, whatever your real angle is, you put it here, length out of holder, that's how long it stick out. And this is two important number here. Make sure this one the same with the two number you have. You create it here. So if you create five, this one should show five. And this one you want to have holder or no holder. Or you want to have like a custom two holder, you can put it in. You can put this holder in here just for show. Another one is for the end meal, same thing half in, see number two, number two, flus. This is important when you create two paths with gip cam that you fit in speed calculator. I don't show, it's not important to me. I can put four, six, two, one, doesn't matter. But if you, you uh, fit in speed calculator in gip, whatever two flows are and then you should put in here so it calculate uh, more accurate all right red let drill this hole you just drag the two down here and then it will pop up this window where you select your operation so we're gonna do real pack full out fit and speed you know what it is you just put in here or you can do uh calculation and then you can calculate but i don't so and i want the real hole through so I'll do minus point oh five so it go through good i know this this is one and if you don't know you just highlight it and then you hit art And when you click that, it will show you that the depth. But if you want to go, obviously you want to go a little bit below, so it grew all the way through. So I add another 50,000. And just select that geometry, click do it. And then you can see that two pass. Alright. Ah, level clear. As you can see here, it go all the way to G.1 retract it there before it move to the neck or uh, done but sometimes you can use this one absolute g2 if it you put one it's gonna finish here and it go all the way up g here or you can put just one but usually most of the time i use this because this one and this one is the same neck one is Cut the finite two pass outside here. So you drag that end mill down. Cause this is contour. So you select contour, fit and speed again. You put in whatever you want. Or whatever you calculated correctly for that material. Line and radius. This one entry and asset. So it go. 200 a line in and then a radius and then it cut it in the same when it get out it go 200 radius and then the line out to access so we can and we cut to finish line to finish part here so it's gonna be zero spring pass is one because you want to cut finish and then it go one more time so and go all the way. If you want a step, you can put here half and it will be three step. Uh, if you do seven, you're gonna do two passes. And then corner here, this is where it put that corner radius on. You put here five, it go five, it will cut 5,000 radius. If you put more, it will cut more. So whatever you want. Usually I put five, 10,000. If the 
engineer whoever make this part put it right here and then we don't have to worry but this one is just a break edge break sharp corner so then and then you select on the click on the geometry make sure you select this one outside because you want the tool out here not in here and go this way so it cut better than conventional this is not conventional this This is, if you cut this way, it's conventional. But if you cut this one, it's climb mill. So it, the two rotate it and then the, the chip go from the back. But if you cut this, the chip will go to the front, which is it's bad finit. So make sure you do climb mill, not conventional. And you just click do it. And then you have two passes. If you want just one, you put it 1.05, or sometimes I just click at 2, and I know it's only 1.01, .01, so it's just one pass. Alright, for this video, it's just basic, easy, you can create 3D model, make basic two pass in GIF. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I will have more video on GIF Cam, Solid Cam, Spree, Solid Work Cam. Those are the cam software that I know. I used to learn uh, Feature Cam and Master Cam, but haven't done those for like over 10 years, so I don't know much those stuff anymore. But basically, it's all the same. The concept is all the same. All right. Uh, see you next time. Make sure you like the video. If click like if you like the video. If you don't like the video, you can click dislike and comment what not good. Now make sure I will make it better next time.